The latest in a developing story that we've been following for more than a month. New evidence released in a case where a one-year-old child was shot as he sat in the back seat of his father's car. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez joins us live with the latest. Kathy. Good morning. I talked to the boy's mother. She says that her son has been in and out of the hospital since that shooting and his wounds are still healing. But she said that he's getting back to normal. He's smiling, laughing, and playing with his two older brothers. This morning, she has a message to her son's shooter. Simply turn yourself in. Take a look. Houston Crime Stoppers released these new surveillance pictures in hopes of catching the man who shot one-year-old Brandon Jaden Ross. Police say the boy was riding in a car with his father and sibling on South Brazewood in Bissonnette the afternoon of May 1st. They say his dad accidentally rear-ended a blue car. That driver, wearing a security guard uniform and grabbing his holstered gun, got out and started walking toward the family. Police say the driver became aggressive and started yelling at the father, who is hearing impaired. The father, police say, drove away for the safety of his children. That's when the driver shot at the family's car multiple times, hitting the young boy in the chest. The father pulled into this gas station on the Southwest Freeway and Gessner to get help. The boy survived. We talked to the boy's mother the next day. Extremely lucky because, you know, it was sending you just away from hitting this part and anything could have happened as far as like he, he really could have lost his life. Police say the shooter was a black man, 5'10 to 6'1, 170 to 200 pounds, short black hair, wearing a black security guard uniform and a holstered firearm. He was driving a blue Buick sedan. And if you recognize anything in this surveillance pictures or have any information about the shooting, please call Crime Stoppers. Reporting live in Southwest Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.